we never had this many people at rollerblade races or roller ski races, and we've had roller ski races for seven years, you know, eight or eight years. It's amazing. We have people come from Ottawa, Massachusetts, so people are really kind of excited about finding competition. Kim Brown drove over from uh, Stowe, and he's. He works with uh, Stowe Reporter and also Vermont Sports, right. Uh, he has a race next weekend. He thinks he might have 100 people show up. Yeah. yeah. So rollerblading has taken off. Through media, through, I mean, it's in Time Magazine, it's in Newsweek, it's in everything. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's just hot. Thanks, Rand. Thanks, Julie. Who came up with the idea of rollerblading? Uh, this guy, Scott Olson, uh, originated it. Bye. <coughs> Scott Olson originated it from, uh, he's from Minneapolis. His family was very involved in hockey and this new sport called Banty. You've heard of it. So he developed the inline roller in the United States. However, it was really discovered many, many years ago in Europe. So he, he discovered the inline roller, uh, kind of discovered it here in the United States, and marketed it. And then he started Roller Blade, the company Roller Blade. And uh, now he's no longer with the company, and, actually, and it's funny to say that Scott has now developed a new item called Switch It, where you, where you go from roller, roller, inline rollers to an ice blade. Yeah, about 10 years ago, about 1980, he started it. So that's pretty exciting. Um, would, would you say it's uh, specifically a, a sport-specific training for like skiers and skating, or anybody? No, anybody can do it because you're always you're not jarring, you're out toning your leg muscles, and you're also swinging your arms. You can use poles and double pole if you want to get an upper body workout and a lower body workout. You can go without poles and just skate. So it's also fun. I mean, it's it, it's fun. Hey, wait a second. He says a lot about you, Jim. You're not. <laughs> You'll love this. Go down on River Road, out and back. That's the neat thing. So you can go get a lot of, you know, aerobic uh, activity. You can get your heart rate up, but you don't jar yourself or hurt yourself. That's why it's so nice. So rollerblades is taking off. The, the sport of inline roller skating is, is going to take off big time. That's what they call it, inline roller skating. We do recommend people who go out uh, to wear a helmet. In our races, we recommend a helmet. We, we mandatory, you have to have a helmet. But knee pads and these new thing called wrist guards, which are kind of Velcro piece of nylon with a piece of steel in it in case you go down on your hands. Yeah, you won't snap your wrist, but also it protects you when you go down. You wouldn't use those with poles. You'd use them if you didn't have poles. I don't think I'd use poles. No, you probably would. But, but always go out and wear gloves, knee pads if you want, or elbow pads. For people to try it in the beginning, we recommend just going down to the speed skating oval and to go around the flat. It's perfect. I've seen a lot country. Uh, for speed workouts, I'm sure runners are starting to go to it even. You can up your mileage, go for a longer distance, but you can still get your legs moving at a high rate of speed. For cross country skiing, you can use them for tempo workouts, for alpine skiing. It's like having a perfect edge. Your slalom turns, GS turns, it's incredible how fun it is too. You know, you just float. Up and down movement, everything is very specific. And cross country skiing, you can do all the techniques also. Just a lot of fun, that's what it really boils down to, is a great time. A great way to be out, like on a fall day like today, to be out with your family, like my little four-year-old Matt goes out with them. Shannon is six, she can, she can go out. Kate can't go out yet, she's only two, but I mean, they have a great time. But I can push her around in her buggy. And, you know, we go rollerblading. It's becoming a family thing. You know, bike wreck paths, that's what people are doing. In Burlington, Vermont, people are going out on wreck paths and rollerblading instead of biking. And it's almost developing its own sport. It's not a fad, that's for sure. It's definitely not a fad. It's, it's something that's going to be here for a long time. Just a whole nother something else to do with your time.
and and you can get into it for a hundred dollars, you know, just like a bicycle. But you can get as as high tech as you want, and we have we have skates from Viking that sell for six hundred dollars. Carbon frames and you know ultra lightweight kangaroo boots and heat thermal molded soles. Stop it. Uh, one race at Lost Little Contact. There's some of our helpers there. That's Sam. Here's a group of three racers forming a group. It's better to draft, just like in bike racing. You can really stay in draft. Here's the race leader heading back towards Keene now, doing a V2 alternate technique up the hill, a nice higher tempo as he goes up the hill. Throws in a little skate. <laughs> Up and over the top of the hill, and then down the other side. This is a Gundy Walsh technique. One, two, three, pole. Here's the race leader again. And here is the finish line. Hits his stopwatch, uh, 55 minutes, uh, 36 seconds. Uh, racers coming in, second place. Good job, gentlemen. Well, we're getting ready for the race here in Keene Valley, in Keene, New York. Uh, Paul Daly's tuning up his roller ski poles with his racers from St. Lawrence University. Paul's one of the coaches here helping out with the clinic. Races are preparing themselves for the 10K race and the 25K race from Keene to Jay. Uh, they're anticipating a fast course today. The weather is beautiful. 75 degrees and sunny with the fall foliage in full bloom. We have racers from New York City, uh, Keene, uh, Lake Placid, and all over the Northeast, Canada as well. Here's the start of the 10K race, folks. We have about 33 racers. People are very excited and anticipating a fun race. Here's the start. And off they go, uh, about 30 racers heading for the 10K race, 5K turnaround. Men, women, everyone from all ages. And they're off, headed for J. Here's an uphill stretch of the course. People with poles are doing a V1 and V2 alternate. People with roller blades are uh, pumping their arms, heading up some hills. Okay, here's the start of the 25K race. They go 12.5K out and 12.5K back. Uh, there's about 25 racers in this group. Looks to be very exciting. A lot of men and women. And they're heading off on their course. Here's a, a roller blader with poles doing a popular V2 alternate technique going up the hills. There's a speed skater, Bob Fisher, pumping his arms going up some hills. Here's uh, skiers doing some uh, tucking going down the hill to gain some speed. Here's racers uh, coming up the hill pumping their arms. Uh, one racer is doing a V2 technique with the poles, trying to maintain momentum on the uphill. It's better for the racers to stay in a group so one racer can draft as the other racers uh, follow behind, can actually get some aerodynamics are involved here where a racer can draft and conserve some energy. There's Bill Dodd from uh, Westport going up the hill there, looking strong, doing V1 technique. 
and there's a group of racers staying together. They know that if they fall back, they'll lose momentum. But here they are staying together and mo maintaining their speed. This thing's heavy. Another group of racers staying together on the uphill. What's the magazine? Is this it? That's not it. Some races are coming down here at the turnaround, and some are heading out still. <laughs> Bruce, we're an exciting race in a beautiful day like uh, like today. 75 degrees, sunny, warm, dry conditions. Can't ask for a better uh, race situation. Here's a racer doing a kick double pole technique from St. Lawrence University. Here's a downhill stretch of the course where racers are imitating the cross country technique of double poling. There's Chip Bryant from uh, Saranac Lake. Here's some other racers uh, getting an aerodynamic tuck going down the hill. There's a racer doing V1 technique. Uh, another racer doing V1 technique. It's a woman doing a tuck down the hill. Looks nice and strong. Here's a rollerblader heading out down a hill. Good technique. There's a picture of the Beautiful skating here in between Keene and Jay and the beautiful Al Sable River, some of the mountain peaks and the beautiful fall foliage. <laughs> We're very lucky to have the race here today on this 9N. What a course. Here's a cross country ski racer, Randy Wint, coming down doing some kick, double pole, double poling. Okay, here's the leader uh, of the rollerblade division coming in uh, outside of Jay, heading towards Keene now for the finish. Other racer is about a minute behind him. He's tired at this point, so he's doing. Uh, V2 alternate, and he's doing a technique called the uh, Gundy skate, where you do like a wall step, give your legs a rest, and give your arms a rest. It's like a one, two, three, pull, one, two, three, pull. It's a very good and fast technique. Here's a technique used to go up the hill when you have a faster yeah, pair of skates on. He's doing the, you, wait a minute, you, the Gundy Waltz. Right. <laughs> there he goes up the hill. Here's Bob Fisher, a speed skater from New York City. Lower back hurts him a little bit now, but he's still maintaining his speed. His stride's a little bit shorter. He generally would take a much longer stride. Bob is also an excellent speed skater, and he uh, mimics that technique perfectly, riding his, his blades in a beautiful long stride. Uh, here's a tired skier. Uh, coming up the hill now, grabbing a drink of water, maintaining his speed, sticking his water bottle back in, and continues the technique. Coach Daly say something. Here's some ra uh, racer, the lead, lead racer coming up to the finish now. He's doing the Gundy skate here technique, maintaining speed and maintaining rhythm on the course. It's beautiful here along the Al Sable River. Now we enter Keene, 
The final finish, there he goes, across the finish line in less than one hour. 25K in less than one hour. I think it was 55 minutes. There's our race director, Gene Stoppero, from High Peak Cyclery in Lake Placid. Here's our second place finisher, Bob Fisher from New York City. Way to go, Bob. Nice finish. Uh, just under uh, one hour. Another racer coming in. Third place. First place. Our first over 50 racer. Looking good. Here's Peter Davis from Lake Placid. Finishing. Bill Dodd from, Lake, from Westport finishing. Everybody had an excellent race today here in Keene. This is uh, a great event, the Lake Placid Roller Ski Roller Race Series 1990. 10K and 25K races. Some racers from St. Lawrence University coming in and finishing. It's a beautiful day here in Keene, New York. The All Sable River and its offshoots. Abraham Lincoln was great, not because he once lived in a cabin, but because he got out of it. Tough times may come, but you can't stay down if you don't stand still. As Thomas Edison so aptly stated, this truth, 2% inspiration, 98 perspiration, nothing succeeds like persistence.
and also one of the major sponsors of our t-shirts this year, which I think are beautiful, are, is the Cottage and the Mirror Lake Inn, which as part of the prizes uh, today will be four gift certificates for the Cottage for lunch uh, as part of uh, our, our prizes. And if anyone wants more t-shirts, we did run out basically, but if you call the store, we can order more if you can only live with one and you want more. However, they will be $10, okay? So, that's great. Uh, once again, our sponsors today, High Peak Cyclery, The Cottage, Mirror Lake Inn, Hind, Rollerblade, Sarah Graphics, who, did, who designed the t-shirts, uh, Excel Ski Poles, Start Wax, V2 Roller Skis, and a new roller ski, the Rush Ski from Russia, which will be part of our grab bag uh, prize for the first places in each category, in each age group. Uh, Metro Sports Magazine, uh, Zanstra, and once again, the t-shirt sponsors were uh, Mirror Lake Inn. Okay, one more thing we'd like to do is thank uh, Lee Johnson for coming out to film this race. So a nice round of applause for Lee for putting together this thing. Okay, I'm going to do the 25K women, 25K men, whether you have rollerblades or ski poles, I'll just announce it in the order that's written. You guys can come up pick anything you want on these uh, banisters and on the table. We have uh, t-shirts from Hind, rollerblade clothing, lots of Nike hats, water bottles, t-shirts, fanny packs, Thorlow socks, cool and fit, a lot of sport briefs from Hind, and we'll do the grab bag after all that for the two a uh, pair of rollerblades and the roller skis which Randy is organizing the uh, draw. So in the 25K, senior women, first place, uh, Lori Grover, 118.41, and second place senior, and first place in the uh, master was Ann McKinley with 122.33. Very good, girls, come on up. Just take whatever you oh. pick. Uh, Annie wants a pair of bike gloves. And first place in the roller uh, roller ski, Bill Dodd, 104.11. And in the uh, roller blade, Brian Delaney, 55.56. Nice going, guys. Yeah. All right. Good job, Brian. Nice going, Bill. Uh, yeah. Go for it. In the vets, first place. Nook Bernisti, 102.35. All right. Is he here? Yeah. Where'd you come from? Greenfield Mass. Greenfield Mass. Good job. He was here last week and won his age group also. <laughs> Thank you. In the senior men, uh, first place, Owen Baird. Is Owen here? Owen. Nice going, Owen. 126.44. The First place, senior male, John Bennett. John here, 57-32. In the tent, is there anybody I forgot who was in the first? Can think of, okay. In the 10K division, first place, senior woman, Julie Jorling. All right, Julie. In the men, Sean Ryan. All right, Sean. Julie was 26.38. Sean was 27.27. First place in the junior, junior male, Eric Traeger. Is Eric here? All right. Let's go. Uh, in the masters, Dave Manfredi. 
Dave here. Nice going. In the vets, Norman Gunderson. Is Norman here? Nice going, Norman. All right. It's one of the only skaters on the four wheels instead of the in line. All right, Norm. All you have to do is live along. When I'm 90, I'll clean this place out. In the senior male, first place in roller skis, Doug Deal. All right, Doug. Uh, 22 flat. And in the senior male, Sandy McLeod, McLeod, 24-17. Did you oil your bearings, Doug? What? Did you oil your bearings? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Second place, 25K. Masters, Kim Brown uh, from Stowe, Vermont. One hour, 32 seconds. All right, Kim. Second place, senior, Doug Keith. Is Doug here? He left, okay. Second place, Chris Traeger. Did I not you, Chris, before? That's a different one. All right, Chris, second place. Good job. You're in the senior male. You did well. 58.05. Third place, second place in the 10K. Susan Speller, Susan here. Good job. Ted Merrill Smith in the Masters. Is Ted here? Okay. Patrick Clancy, second place in the senior male, 10K. Nice going, Patrick. Very good. Second place in the senior male blades, Lars Edson. Nice going, Lars. Okay, third place now all around. Jamie Yankowski in the Masters. Jamie, are you here? Nice going, 104.59. In the senior, senior men's, Eric Reese. Is Eric here, 138.22. Third place in the blade division, men, Tim Baustad. Nice going, Tim. And we'll go uh, to the blade. Third place in the senior men, Jim Allett, 30 20. All right, Jim. And in the blade division, third place. Chip Bryan, all right, Chip, 30, 29. See here, all right, good going. Excellent. And we'll go to fourth place and then we'll do the drawings. Oh, don't forget those gift certificates, you guys. Okay, they're... I'll take one of those. We'll, pay, we'll go to fourth place and we'll go for the big drawing. Fourth place, senior men, Mark Elmore. Is Mark here? 42.51, that was his first race on rollerblades. He did great. Uh, what? Mark, no, nah, he had to run home. His wife's having a baby any minute, so he's. In fourth place, Scott Carroll, one hour, nine seconds. Is Scott here? Nice going. Come on up. All right, the results will be in the Lake Placid News Adirondack Daily Enterprise. If anyone wants results, mail to them. I have envelopes. You'll have to put a dollar in the envelope and address it, and I will photocopy the article in the paper and mail it to you. I think that's fair. Uh, and I'll also send you a copy of the results as well as the article, okay? Uh, the Lake Placid News has covered the story today. He may be sending it down to uh, the New York Times. In the New York Times last week, 
we had a great little article about Lake Placid and the roller ski race series, so that was quite nice. Also, pick up your copy of Metro, hold that up, Julie, Metro Sports Magazine, who also sponsored the race. <sighs> and is there anything else I forgot? Yes, the grab bag for the grand prizes. Next week, folks. Oh, and any of your comments or suggestions to help this race series. We'll probably start it earlier next year. We think we're going to expand the whole, the whole roller blade, roller ski program. I'm very excited about it. You might even see races here in the summer. Next weekend, is it Sunday or Saturday? Sunday. It's Sunday in Stowe, Vermont. There is a roller blade, roller ski race also. Kim Brown, raise your hand. The guy there has applications for the race. Please go to him and get them. Okay. The results will also be in Vermont Sports Today and various other newspapers, I'm sure. Okay. The moment you've all been waiting for is the grab bag for the roller skis and the roller blades. What I did was I said... Oh, you did? Really? Okay. Don't have me pick them. No, I won't. Put that back in there. That's probably your name, That's right? That's probably me. <laughs> Here, Mark, you can pick one. We'll do the... Bill, open that box up. The roller ski box. We'll do the roller skis. It's a new roller ski from Russia. Yes, it's here, you guys. Yeah. We call it the Rush Ski. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, it sells. It sells for $169. They're fantastic. They're quite nice. The winner is Julie Jarling. Julie Jarling. <laughs> All right. And for the rollerblades from Rollerblade, the winner is. Jim Allen. Jim Allen. All right. It's going to be an animal. Thanks, Brian. Protest. Protest. Thanks. Did you pick that? Yeah. yeah Thanks I so. yeah. I'll give you the money. Thank later. you, sir. <laughs> right. If you want to get the results mailed to you, I will be right back with the envelopes. I have a stack in my car. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Again, a nice round of applause for the cottage for taking care of us. That was great. Remember to tip the staff well. Right, Marge? And thanks again, everyone, for coming. <laughs>